You said everything is healthy. Yes. What do you mean by that? Everything is healthy in moderation. You can eat everything you want, but you should do it in moderation. Let's say I love candies or okay. I love cake. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm the same. Yeah. If I really crave for it, I have it and I should be happy about it. Like, you know, wow, I get to eat the cake and it was so good. Everything is healthy in moderation. Like C I said. How about cigarettes? Cigarette, yeah. Go ahead. I'm here now with Emily Nguyen. How are you, Emily? Hi, I'm good. So tell me, where are we right now and why are we here? Um, we are in Berla. Uh, this is the path I usually take to go to work nearby in the Halle. It's okay. a spot hall. I'm a personal fitness trainer and that's why I work in a spot hall. Um, that's where I can get the equipment and facility to train my client in fitness and I help my client to reach their fitness goals as well as how to train correctly and safely. Tell me your history with Finland. How long have you been here? And where did you originally come from? I have been here for roughly eight years. And uh, originally I came from Vietnam. So I moved here to study. Um, I did a bachelor degree in international business. And then after that, um, I was also considering like doing a uh, fitness training so I took another diploma in personal training and here I am. In the beginning I start training as a way to combat like depression and also to make new friends in Finland because there's not many methods to make friends in Finland. I used to start smoking even just to make friends in <laughs> oh Finland. And a lot of people share the same share the same um same same story. Yeah. Even my, my friends because they're telling me that you know You uh, mean your they, non Finnish friends? Uh, well yeah, yeah, yeah. My foreigners friend. They yeah. they they tell me that yeah, Finns don't talk, but in the when you were in the smoking room or in the smoking then area together, then they talk. So you started smoking. To I make I did <laughs> I did I think I was that was around I, when I was twenty one so long time ago, but I quit after a year. I really I never get addicted to it. It's just really a social kind of thing for me. Yeah. Uh, so in Finland they give you a, a year of job seeking visa, and. During this year, when you graduate from Finland, I mean, when you graduate from a, sc a school in, in, in Finland, and after this, during this year, you should get a job, then you can stay. Otherwise, that's that's the end of it. Mm. So, so during this year, I was really just trying to get the job in business as well. And, and then this, after that year, I really reconsider my, you know, my position and then I actually started the PT training, I think, in June the next year. So I got a, I got a job to stay. I got a, another side hustle, shall we say, to, to stay. And uh, after that half a year, I start my personal training studies. Do you speak Finnish? How is your Finnish? My Finnish is okay, I, I guess. I passed my Uki test and I can speak Finnish, let's say, in simple conversation and simple command. Um, but uh, if I have to give a, if I have to have a chat and have a personality, like let my personality shine through the yeah, language, of course. that's that's not happening. That's <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite thing about Finland? Okay, this has been said so many times before. I guess it's it's on already like uh, Tell it again. Uh, like you know, over overuse. It's the water. The water. Yes. Oh, I haven't thought about that. Yes. Yeah, it's, I suppose compared to Asia, <laughs> it's good to have drinkable water. All and the it's time. from the tap. Yeah. It's just like 
you know in my house in vietnam we have to always every single morning when i wake up i buy a pot of water for my for my families yeah. and then i let and it chill cool it let down. it cool it down and then after you boil it you still have to filter it yeah yeah so it takes a lot of work it's like extra chores you have to do in the house yeah but yeah this is something that i appreciate also and then this i i mean we are in like this is not a swimming lake But if you in a, in I used to live in Lahti, for example, the lake there is completely like clear. You can see the bottom always, and you, Lahti actually have the cleanest uh, source of water from Finland. Mm. So then you can literally just drink from the lake. You can just like take a cup and drink straight. God damn. So I think that's something uh, a lot of people might take for granted. But even uh, I, when I when I met when I went until back to you Vietnam, brought it until you mentioned it, even I didn't think about it but i so appreciate being able to drink water anytime mm. from the tap and it's cold and it's clean yes. and no matter what people will tell me otherwise water has a taste like the water in lahti tastes better than the water in helsinki really yes it's like sweeter fresher it's it's more like crispness of to it okay there's a like you know ice cold beer mm. there's a crispness to it and the water in lahti has that trying to tone my stomach. So, as a PT, is you know, obviously stomach is the most difficult area for most people. It's the last place. Last thing. You it's the last know. thing, isn't it? Yeah. So, why is that? Thing. What's special I mean, about the belly? I mean, I still have a little bit in my tummy, let's say. And and for some people that is that is um, normal. And for some, they consider if they don't have a six pack, they are not having anything. They're not good enough. The thing <laughs> is, we are getting old. We are not getting any younger. Yeah, we and don't as go our in as our body age, our metabolism slow down, okay. and of course we put on a little bit more body fat in in as a result of that. And let's say if you are like later age in your life and you want to maintain. Um, the same figures you had before you, let's say, 20 years old when you were 20s. Yeah. Are you, you telling probably me it's possible? You probably should have, first of all, a good base to start with. Okay. And if you don't have that, you probably have to work way, way harder. What's a good base? As in, you you've been doing training for in your 20s, ah. and then at your 30s or 40s, you are you are just maintaining maintaining that more or less. But if you don't have that, then you would have to put on a lot of extra work to right. fight that, you know, aging process of the body. Ah, oh, that's depressing. And, and yeah, give it's, me something that's, positive. That's why. Come on, that's why you so you so amazed when you see a 60 years old yes. with six packs. Yeah, that's um the amount of work is just insane. You told me something interesting yeah. once, and I wanted to ask you about it. Um, I said, I asked you, is it healthy to... And then you cut me off. I didn't even finish the question. You said everything is healthy. Yes. What do you mean by that? Everything is healthy in moderation. So you, you literally just like, you can eat everything you want. But you should do it in moderation. Let's say I love candies or okay. I love cake. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm the same. Yeah, yeah. But I would not have a huge slice. Okay. Let's say I would have either half or a third of that slice. If I really crave for it, I have it. And I should be happy about it. Like, you know, wow, I get to eat the cake and it was so good. Yeah. And and I shouldn't feel like oh I ate some cake. Yeah, I should But, punish okay. myself for it. All right, good. I've heard that before. So, But then the danger becomes like I'm going to do that every day or three times a day. I'm just going to eat cake and feel happy about it. How do you stop yourself from going there? So moderation. That's that's why I'm what I meant. It's like if I eat a third of a slice of cake once a day, that's okay. 
But if I eat it three times a day, that's not okay. Because that means that I eat the whole slide of cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everything is healthy in moderation. Like C I said. How about cigarettes? Cigarettes, yeah. Go ahead. If you can't get rid of it. I mean, it's something extra, right? Again, everything you don't actually need yeah. in your, in your um, diet, it should be taken with caution. How to say, a lot of people like Marie Kondo, their life right now. I love Marie Kondo. Come on. I, is this controversial? Let's say. Hey, but well, I, how can minimizing be controversial? I love that. No, no, I love the Tidy idea. Tidy up your mess. Exactly. I love the idea of, of, of like being minimalistic and turn like minimalize things around your life. And I think that you should do the same to your diet. Minimalize it, Sim simplify it. You eat whole food and what's your body need? So what's your body need is, you know, healthy whole grain carbs, protein. Then you have the fat, either it's coming from like nuts or meat, if you eat meat. So yeah, like you just need those things, but you don't need the unnecessarily saturated trans fat from, you know, deep fried food. Yeah. You what... don't need the sugar from, you know, Cake. Okay, candy, well, let me chocolate. ask you. Let me ask you. Most people. You want it. So it's again needs and wants. Okay. And then go ahead. Most people know this. Yes, exactly. So, as a PT, uh, am I correct in saying your job is more motivation rather than education? It's education, but it's also, you know, educate the way people approach to diet. So a lot of people thought that like you have to go from zero to a hundred. Yeah. It's not. It's not gonna it's it's gonna be like zero, ten, thirty, yeah. but you go back to ten. Yeah. And then you can be fluctuate between ten and thirty for a while. Yeah. Before you can move on to the forty. 50 and 50. 30. Exactly. So you know, you have been living on your life with Maybe your guilty pleasure, your bad habits, and you cannot change it like this. Yep. I like Good that. habit is hard to form and bad habit is hard to get rid of. So true. And I really like putting numbers to it. So you've, your first step is to fluctuate between zero and 10. Something like that. <laughs> and yeah. then try to get to fluctuating between 50 and 40. You know, like the true high achievers, they're going to be fluctuating between 90 and 80. So yeah, the key is, it seems really simple, but what's the problem? Yes, that's exactly true. Like everyone knows exactly what they need to do. Yeah. We already overload with the information yes. from the internet. so why can't we do it? Because we want things too fast. Mm -hmm. This is where I train my client. It's like Dola Sport Hall. It's a public sport hall where you can just um, pay really cheap price to get into, and you get a badminton court, a basketball court, uh, some dancing room, and weights and all the equipment to train. Cool. So yeah. that was a nice walk, Emily. Thank yeah. you for bringing me on your walk to work. Thank on you for having me. Such a nice me. day. I think we got lucky. Yes, I thought that it's gonna rain, but... Where can people find you online? Uh, so you can find me on Facebook at Empower Training and you can find me on Instagram with the handle um, at em dot pwr. Got it, and we will, I'll put the links in the video. Yes, thank so you. So anyone who wants to train with Emily, Hit us up. Yes. She's ready. See you there in the gym. <laughs>